We begin in the city of La Crosse, where a new mayor and city council president assume their new responsibilities. Today, News 19's Marcus Arsvold shares what these freshly elected officials plan to do for the city they've now sworn to serve. Council President Barb Jansen knew she'd get nominated for the leadership role. I was raised um, early on that, you know, you can do anything you want um, and it doesn't matter if you're a female or a male. But didn't think she'd win unanimously. That was a surprise. I expected maybe somebody else to throw their name in the hat, but um, it's, a, it's an honor to be unanimously um, approved for council president. After four years on Common Council, she knows it's not easy. It can be tough to be in a city council position. But she's prepared for her role to assign committee members and run orientation for the newbies. As a new council member, there are going to be so many questions um, that come up as you start to get phone calls from your constituents and start seeing agendas. So just helping the, the new council to, to get situated in a very positive way. New Mayor Mitch Reynolds says it took a moment to adjust. And then you realize, oh my gosh, I'm conducting the business of the city as the mayor of the city of La Crosse and it's hard not to at that very first moment feel like oh, this is this is incredible this is an incredible feeling I had a little I had some jitters I gotta be honest I was a little nervous once the nerves pass he's ready to work on all the issues whether it's PFAS also we have tremendous floodplain issues we have fire stations that we need to get built the uh, federal funding that's coming in to make certain that we're moving our city forward and it and we're utilizing it to the point where it's actually making a significant difference I mean that's just a few and there's a long list. New leadership pledging to take a new approach to the city's ongoing challenges. In La Crosse, Marcus Arsvold, News 19. And Mayor Reynolds says he's already got meetings on the agenda for tomorrow, uh, planning to discuss PFAS water contamination on French Island with Congressman Ron Kine.